whether it's filling up my cup and enjoying lunch at my favorite deli, <laughs> stocking up at my local grocery store, or simply editing my videos for all you guys to watch and enjoy. I'm always drinking Coca-Cola. I'm just coming to with another video review, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Transformers Dark of the Moon Voyager class, Megatron. As you can see, with his mech tech weapon and a level 2 conversion, spin around here on the side, and it says Megatron has lost battles, but he has never been truly defeated. Even after his near total destruction by the Allspark, he returned. This latest loss is nothing to him. He has plans thousands of years in the making that are finally coming to fruition. This time, nothing will stop him from annihilating the Autobots completely. Absolutely fantastic. Spin around here on the back. And what's kind of weird is he, he's got the uh, the cloak on one side and on the actual picture here, he's got it on the other side. But a uh, Mac truck mode. The blaster converts to a fusion cannon, which is really nice. And obviously, you know, make sure that you watch Transformers Prime on the hub network. Support Transformers. <laughs> Spin around here on the side. And uh, everything, you know, it's absolutely amazing how strong he is. Absolutely fantastic looking. And you know what? In all honesty, I really love this look. I love the fact that he's taking on an actual Earth mode. And after the end of the Revenge of the Fallen, where he, his face was blown apart and he was basically shamed. I love the fact that he's wearing a cloak to hide himself. Now everybody's always said, you know, why, why does he just reformat? I mean, he reformats, why can't he fix himself? Now from my understanding and things that I've kind of learned just from watching, reformatting doesn't fix you. You need the AllSpark to actually repair yourself. Changing forms doesn't fix the situation. So uh, I love the fact that he's hiding his face. He's got this cloak on here. I just think it's fantastic looking. So um, let's get this guy open and see how cool he actually is. Okay guys, so here we have Megatron opened up and out of its packaging. And all things being equal, this figure really is outstanding. Does he suffer from a couple problems? Yeah, he absolutely does. But one thing that I think a lot of reviewers kind of get away from is focusing on the toy itself. They always want to compare it to previous versions of him. And I, I really don't think that that's all that fair. After two movies where Megatron has a weird kind of alien Cybertronian look, finally he has an Earth mode. Now a lot of people are already complaining because, you know, you can't have Megatron be a, uh, a semi-truck and you can't have Optimus Prime be a semi-truck and blah blah blah, so on and so forth, but I really think that this is a gorgeous and evil looking truck. It's absolutely perfect for the leader of the Decepticons, if you ask me. The only problem is, he's kind of small. And small really is kind of the trend that the Dark of the Moon figures is going for. Now, like I said, a lot of reviewers will compare these to previous versions of it, and I really think that that's an unfair way to review these figures. You take a brand new Bumblebee and you compare it to a previously released Bumblebee and I, I, I really I really don't think that that's an honest and fair way of looking at these figures. I really think the engineering and just the sheer fun factor of this Megatron really is top notch. One really nice added thing that a lot of people comment on, this is all one piece. There, there's no separate well except for this but I'll get to that in a minute. But it's absolutely cool how you can bend this figure uh, as if he's got a whole separate kind of um, trailer section and it, that, well, sometimes it likes rotating, sometimes it doesn't. But I mean, I really think that that's an absolute fantastic little touch that they didn't have to engineer into the figure, but they did. And it's a fantastic addition to this figure. Some other nice kind of details. I do kind of like how they uh, sort of replicated a, a rust look on here. This is a very kind of dirty and... Like I said, just in general, evil looking truck that uh, seems to be coming apart. Uh, I really love this front grill section. It does say Mac across the front.
front. And some really nice molded detail that just goes all the way throughout it. Really nice Decepticon symbol there. Just really nice added detail throughout this entire thing. Even onto the tarp itself where it replicates uh, straps and buckles. It just looks wonderful on this guy. I really think that this vehicle mode is one of the best so far that we've gotten with the Dark of the Moon toys. Uh, now I did mention he does have a tarp that can remove. And basically what you're looking at, yeah, well, that's not supposed to be popping out. Dang, get in there. Um, basically what you're looking at here is um, what, what basically is like a tanker truck. Uh, maybe an oil, maybe a gas. Hell, maybe it's a milk tanker truck. I don't know. But it's a tanker truck nonetheless. Now his mech tech weapon actually incorporates into the vehicle itself, which is fantastic. I love that. Much like I really like how the actual mech tech weapon for Shockwave incorporates into the robot mode, so too does Megatron's. And uh, it's 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 really simple. You just push this little uh, ladder in, and it goes from what is basically called the fusion cannon to this little claw doodad, which is really nice. And like all the Voyager figures, if you push this in and rotate it, it locks it in place. So now he's got this big long claw. You can take this section here, rotate this out, and he does have some mech tech ports. You got some here on the side, that those will be used for his uh, actual robot mode. But you have this part right up here. You can plug it right into the roof. And uh, he can drive around with this cannon sticking out of the roof, which, you know, I mean, it it's silly. It, it, re it really kind of is uh, that, I mean, I'm not a big fan of that. One thing that I do really kind of like, though, and this is, again, a nice piece of the engineering. When you remove it, and, well, you pull everything apart, uh, they actually have spring-loaded tabs. And that's on all of these new Dark of the Moon figures where you push it in and you can see it just springs right back out as opposed to just leaving a big, giant hole there. I think that's really nice. And when it's all said and done, I really think that that's a feature that they didn't have to include. And because they did really, really impresses me when it comes to the actual engineering of the figure. Now, since we already have them like this, I might as well go ahead and transform them. Just come around here. It's very straightforward, kind of. Just separate the legs, just like so. Rotate these bits around. Take this little section here, kind of loosen this whole thing up on the side. Angle that up. Fold down the foot. And you can extend this down. Rotate that foot bit out. And then when you do this, trying to get this out of the way, there's a little tab right here at the, or a little hole, I'm sorry, and then a little tab that that will slide into, filling out that leg, making it look really kind of cool, very nice. Definitely a Megatron style leg. And I, I do believe my good friend General Techno mentioned that, that these really do have a, a certain kind of look and a feel that is very much Megatron's. So you angle this up, you accordion in this section up like so, and then just slide that in. And now you have the legs basically done. Um, kind of take these little sections here, fold those in, rotate it around here to the front, and uh, just angle these outward. Oh, I'm sorry. You should separate this little, there's a little tab piece right here. Do that on both sides, lift that. And then these just accordion outward. Kind of fold that down, keep that all lined up. Just like that. Come up to the top section, you can rotate this around, take these arms, Fold these out just like that. Rotate that section. Yeah, rotate that back just to kind of get it out of the way. And come around here. These uh, now you can do this. It's kind of it's it's tough for me. These these actually separate. There we go. Oh, I did it. Sweet. Uh, let's see if I can keep them without falling off. Because I try to transform these uh, with these bits attached. So you can't take them off. Just kind of fold it back. Separate that. Just like that. Kind of wiggle. Loosen it up. Get that out of the way. There we go. Extend that down. Extend that down and around. Just like that. Fold this. This is going to all accordion in on itself. Rotate the head up, position that in, take this section here, fold that back. Uh, that doesn't really tab anything, but keep these up like so. Straighten out the legs, take this little uh, cross section, rotate this up, cover that little bit up like so. And I don't think I have the legs fully extended. There we go, get that like so. Rotate that down, rotate the hand out, rotate that hand out. Spin this around. You can position these any real way that you want. I kind of like rotating them around where they're uh, kind of looking like little horns. 
kind of like so. Straighten that. Now you can take this chest piece, you can separate that. And uh, here you have Megatron in his really cool, really badass, and very Megatron looking robot mode. Well, I love the way that this figure looks. All these really cool angular designs here, especially in his abdomen. Very Megatron looking legs. It's just very massive, very bulky. I love the fact that he's got two hands. That That's just unbelievable. I love the way this guy looks. He absolutely looks menacing and evil and creepy and so, so, so Megatron. Without a shadow of a doubt, he really has one of the very best light piping that I've seen on a figure. The entire back of his head is all this red uh, translucent bit that if you take a little flashlight and put it right through there, I mean, that is just absolutely wonderful looking. People have really commented on how they don't like the look of his face. But now remember, at the end of Revenge of the Fallen, he had his face blasted off. He was very much shamed by Optimus Prime in that final battle. And that's where this piece comes in. If you take it and slide this little bit out, just like so, he's got this uh, little tarp that will hang over his shoulder and actually cover his head. Now, it's made out of this really soft kind of pliable rubber that uh, you just take this, and I usually will slide this through here if I can do it. Come on. If you get it just like that, now obviously you can rotate this if you don't like that and keep that out of the way. But uh, you can cover his head, his, uh, you can cover his arm up with this giant tarp. And then you can kind of see, now what I'll usually do is he's got a chest piece that's usually like this. I'll slide that little bit down. And then there's a little slot right inside here that this little tab will go into. And uh, just push that all the way down. Take some doing because it, like I said, it's a softer rubber. So you have to be a little uh, tricky with it. Get it kind of down like that. Just kind of position the head, get that out of the way. And uh, here you have Megatron with this uh, little tarp thing covering his head. Uh, although it doesn't really sit too well right now because I've been fiddling with it. But and this just... It, Megatron and Robin Hood just have combined it into a really badass looking figure. And you can see when you get it positioned just right, it really covers up his face and the damage that uh, he sustained. And just really goes with the whole thing about him being, uh, you know, embarrassed and shamed and disgraced by being damaged as badly as he was. That just is really a fantastic look for this guy. Now, obviously, when it comes to his articulation, this arm is going to be uh, obviously limited because of what you got going on here. Although, not too bad because, again, this is a soft rubber, so you do get but when you move it around, it starts messing everything up. But he does have a full range of motion at his shoulder, rotates right up here, Bends at two points here at the elbow, and he's got a little bit of articulation here in the wrist. He's got some uh, rotation here at the upper part of the abdomen, not at the lower uh, waist area, but just right above the abdomen section. Back and forth at the legs, in and out, bends at the knee, and uh, I, I guess, well, that's not really any pivot, but... Uh, that's pretty much what you have for his articulation. Now his mech tech weapon, like I said, you got this little plug here on the bottom that you can come around here on both arms he actually has this, but obviously this one's covered up. You can plug that in right to the side. And now Megatron does, in fact, have his fusion cannon. Uh, you can extend it again. It all depends on what you, how you want him displayed. Keep it with this giant claw thing or release this and you can just have his cannon. It's it's personal preference, what you want, you can do, obviously. I just think that this is a really, really fantastic figure, a glowing, glowing point in the line, if you ask me. The engineering is wonderful. The transformation is fun. This is a figure that really, guys, you should get. The only major drawback that I do see on it is kind of inherent with a lot of the other Dark of the Moon figures. He could really go for some added paint details. And if this guy was a, a leader size version, he'd probably be even more amazing. Now to transform him back, just come around here, take the, uh, the gun off, set that off to the side. You can put that back up, set that back over, take this little bit out, and uh, very carefully slide the uh, little grill section um, and this this is a little bit of a pain in the butt kind of rotate that around just it's a little bit easier that way and just wiggle it through you might actually pop it off and if you do it's no big deal it just pops right back on so um see just like that i just pulled it off so 
And then this actually separates into two separate sections too. So I'll put that right back. And then as you can see, uh, uh, there's little slots right on here that have little tabs that you can just line things up. Just kind of slide that in just like so. All right, so now you have that. Now just take this section, fold that down, rotate that back, kind of pull his chest piece out, extend it all the way, and then you can rotate his head back just like that. Put his piece down like so. Come around here to these sections, fold these down, rotate them around, and then get them out of the way. Then you're going to be able to bring these, or well, first, bring this section up and then you're gonna bring this inside, bend the arms backwards, position these inside, and then uh, bring these little bits down. This part can get a little bit tricky, uh, so just take your time, go slow, make sure you peg everything together, including the uh, front grill section, and uh, then line up the slots here in the bottom. Rotate that all around, so now you have the front section looking like so. Rotate these back and around. Well, we're worry about that later. Take the hands, fold those in, just like that. Rotate all the way around. Again, keeping these little bits down and inside. Take the little crotch section, unhook that, rotate that down. Rotate that section down. Pull these little bits out. Now you had the wheels like this, rotate those all the way out. Rotate at the knee on both sides. Separate these uh, side panels, fold this back, and these are going to accordion upward just like so. Keep it just like that. Rotate this out. Now you're going to have a little slot inside here and a little tab. Bring that together just like that. Do the same on this side. Rotate that, no, not at the knee, rotate that up, rotate that up and out, fold that down. Then you can accordion these little leg bits all the way inside. Give them a nice little squeeze. Line that up, line that up, line this back section up, right like so. Make sure you get the wheels all the way out. Take these little bits here, fold these all the way up and peg those right in there. Do the same on that side. There we go. Oh. Just like that and uh, pretty much you have Megatron done take this little section here take the cannon section this is going to go inside this back bit kind of set that down this little gizmo rotate that around and then it actually kind of fills in that little hole right there stick it on the back and boys and girls here you have Megatron back in his tanker mode. Now, despite the couple flaws that I think that this figure has, which as I said, really is inherent to a lot of the figures in the Dark of the Moon line, this figure is a wonderful, wonderful one to pick up. A really, really cool looking vehicle mode, which nobody still has been able to explain why uh, this windshield here sticks out further than the other one. It's kind of strange, but that's actually how the actual truck looks in the movie. But a very nice representation of some sort of tanker truck that looks evil and menacing and is very much Megatron looking. The engineering for his transformation is fantastic. There's a lot of really cool things that are happening with this guy that really make it worth picking up and playing with him. Just over and over again, transforming it just seems to get more and more fun as you do it. His robot mode is just as good as any other part of this figure. The only real nagging problems, again, are his size and the yeah, slight lack of paint details. But in general, the Megatron figure in his robot mode is an absolutely awesome looking figure. And without a shadow of a doubt, I can tell you guys, if you see him in the stores, pick him up. He's worth it, and you should really have a real good time transforming this guy. So until next time, guys, I want to thank you for tuning in. This has been Optobotomus. I'll talk to you later.